All right, welcome back to the devlog. This is uh, Dear Daisy devlog number four. I know it's been a while. You know, I've just been trying to work on the game as much as possible. Um, I, I I have taken a break in like the past three days, but you know, still. Um, just a few updates. Uh, I am gonna be restructuring the entire way the game works because I don't like that you just like plop into an asylum and like. There's just these a uh, bunch of unanswered questions. I'm also going to be figuring out if uh, uh, how to put it into VR. So I did put loading screens. This is obviously the exported version. I did put loading screens in the uh, in the, what's it called in the editor. All right. So uh, you know you already know all this. I don't need to. I need. To, I don't. I, I don't really need to show this. So I think I'll just skip to where we left off, which I don't really know where that was, but I'll figure it out. I did change a few things here. Um, so first, I uh, because of the first demo, I uh, added this note here just because, and you know, this is a spoiler. Sorry, this is a spoiler. And you can see the mouse when you export it. I gotta change that. There's a few bugs that I gotta change. Like obviously, this is a texturing issue that I already fixed, but I still got. This is uh, the second demo. That light is. So if you press, if you pick this up, you see it says holding vent key because of the other video so like yeah and then it's just so you know that this is for a vent and it's not just for uh you know just for the door you know and the, this is a machine door and i was thinking of like putting machine door lacks power here because you'll, you'll see later now i did add loading screens here so it doesn't just freeze but not in the ex this exported version i wanted to use the exported version because like you know it's better so yeah this door's locked i added this thing here watch yeah, it's just it's kind of stupid, but it's the best I can do. Yeah, but I am I this will still be in the game I'm just gonna put it like I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff before it So like a few more things will be explained. All right, this is where it gets weird. So yeah, my friend voice acted this and uh, You know, I think he did an okay job You know, and okay, so it's coming up, but yeah um, if you turn on the shower, blood comes out, you know, super spooky or whatever. I just, yeah. Anyways, he's about to speak, so. Hi, my name is Steven, and welcome. This is a video training exercise to help you get past your mental issues. How are you feeling today? Yeah, I really need to put subtitles on that. Uh, I'm glad to hear that. Let's get started. This first training exercise is to help with a puzzled mind. Find a way to get up to a call space. Okay, so this first, this is like the first puzzle. So there's these cubes here, you know, you, you go up to it, you pick up the cube, and then you go over here. And you can throw the cube, or you can right click and just place the cube. I probably should put a, tut actually, I am putting a tutorial, that's right. I am making a tutorial. It's in the making, like, right now, in fact. That's the next thing I'm going to do. But I've gotten like uh, stuck up on an error with Unity VR. I thought I broke the whole thing, but it turns out I just had to download a different version of Unity. So now this uh, this um, Unity Unity will be in 2019. Yeah, yeah, it's 2019.30 or something. Or the last few digits is 30 instead of five. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah, but there's like a lot of digits and weird stuff. Anyways, good at work. Now you're in the second section. There are three keys that link to three doors. Find them all to get out. Yeah, see, he kind of stutters there, but, you know, I figured this is just an indie horror game. He's trying to be a voice actor. You know, you got to start somewhere. So, yeah, this, this one you pick up the key, and then you it's holding green vent key. And then you press E to unlock vents. This leads to the blue one. And then, the, I, of course, it takes longer to go through this maze. I've done this a million times. So, you know, I know where everything is. I still get lost from time to time, but literally just go left, left, jump scare, open the vent, uh, red key, and then you go over here. This is usually where I get lost because I, I don't know. <laughs> all right, and then boom, there you go. So that was three keys to three doors and it's all color coded, you know. Great, now to the last exercise. I make this doll to comfort patients. Some patients don't like it, but others do. Figure out which patients like it and which patients don't. All right. So yeah, as he said, it's basically just this pa uh, these patients here. They're laying down and they're mentally unstable. And so I <laughs> I structured this where blue and pink are like you know not very threatening colors. 
So these ones don't jump scare you. And, you know, they just have a sound and, you know, a sighing sound. And I do this because, like, if I keep it on there, then it'll just, uh, it'll, it'll stay on there. Now, yellow and red, you know, danger and caution. These ones, you know, do this. Yeah, not very scary, but what can I do? It's, eh, it's not, this game isn't really for jump scares. It's for psychological horror. It's for creating a story. That's what I'm focusing on right now. Wow, great job. That's the end of this video. I hope this helped with your mental issues. Ciao. There we go, that's it. Oh, yeah, by the way, I made the flashlight uh, wider because, yeah, you know. So as you can see, this door is now locked, and so is this one. So there's a zero right here, and then, you know, and then this machine door lacks power. That's why I was saying earlier it should say machine door lacks power, because these, these are all connected through these, and I thought it was pretty cool. And then you fix the generator, boom. Lights turn on, you don't need a flashlight anymore, except for in this room. There's no lights in this room, which I did that on purpose. Um, yeah, but you can, uh, yeah, there is this morgue. Uh, surgery area jar here the brain this is a joke see the brain weighs zero this guy was stupid <laughs> yeah and there's trash cans biohazard trash cans and see there's a stretcher right here blood you know this was all in the trailer if you watch the trailer uh, I made this too tall on accident you know <laughs> but uh yeah, because I'm obviously restructuring the whole game. I was thinking of like making it to where you start in a city, and then your first objective, you press G to open objectives or goals, and then like your first objective is to go to the hospital, you know. And then once you're at the hospital, it'll it'll check mark the objective. Like there you go, you did a good job. Yeah, and then like um, a number of objectives within a scene, then um, yeah, another a number of objectives within a scene, and then they all disappear in the next scene because you no longer have those objectives. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, there's, there's a spoiler right here, so, um, yeah, these, these are some funny references in here. So, there's this a body log, and uh, later, this is another spoiler, by the way, uh, later in the story, we f find out that Linda Demeter Jackson was the killer of Daisy. So, Stephen killed her, and she, he made it look like a suicide, so cause of death, lacerations in the throat, basically, he, he cut her throat. And then William Miller Afton, William Afton, you know, uh, the guy from Five Nights at Freddy's, you know, and Cause of Death Unknown seems to be a squish, you know, spring trap, all that. And then Jason Carlos Denton, this is a more unknown reference. This is J.C. Denton from Deus Ex, Cause of Death, Cavity and Head Caused by Bullet, because, you know, it's that type of game. Anyways, these are a bunch of random names, except for, yeah, that one. Jaime, Kaylee, James, just made that up. Cause of Death, oh, actually, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hi nope. Jaime, Kaylee, James, Kylie, James, uh, Cause of Death, Amy Otroff, yeah, that's how Stephen Hawking died, and Jaime is uh, Stephen's daughter, and then Darius Elijah Lee, my middle name is Elijah Lee, my, both of those are Cause of Death, major, major hit concussion, and then Stephen Buchanan James, Cause of Death is tuberculosis, and then there's a four right here, so, so far now we have a zero and a four, right, and then, uh, we go over here there's a five this is another spoiler <laughs> or actually no it's not no this one's not a spoiler strange corpse came in today i don't know why we have to work in this basement with these blue lights it's absolutely ridiculous i don't get paid enough to do this oh dear see the deer that's a very important part because right here there's a one and see the deer antlers <laughs> see and then it says secret so hold on i want to show off a little bit more before i uh Actually, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So if you find this early, basically this vent is just locked. Both these vents are locked. You can't unlock this one, sadly, but I want to make it toward where you can. And I'm going to make it go left. And so I want to make, like, this class... So, yeah, hold on, I'll, I'll show you later. I want to make this one unlocked because there's, like, a classroom... Or, or a bedroom, sorry, a bedroom that's over there. And... Uh, it basically leads to a very important part of the story. You meet Jaime. Sorry, spoilers. You meet Jaime, and she's a ghost, but you'll see in a minute. Um, so you view the keypad, and the code is... Okay, hold on, actually. Let's go over here and uh, recap. So we have a zero. So we have a zero, right? And then in here, in here we have a four. As you can see, four, right? And I put them in order. And then this one's a bit weird. The one actually comes first, but I figured the player would see this first because they're going to go over here. They're not going to go like straight and then immediately look right. But I don't know. You know, anything can happen. Um, 
Yeah, and then there's a five, and then there's the deer that gives you the hint about the deer. One. Yeah, and then you could just do, you know, these are all wrong, make some weird noise. So it's zero, four, five, one. And that's another reference. And I also fixed that thing where you have to press close that you don't have to do it anymore. But 0451 is a refer another reference to Deus Ex. It is the first code in uh, Deus Ex. I'm obviously obsessed with that game. <laughs> I absolutely love it. But And then you find this journal and this vent key. Um, this journal is awfully long, so if you really want to read that, then I'll let you. But if you don't, then, you know, whatever. It was created April 2nd, 1970. That's my birthday. I, I don't know, I'm really bad with dates, but all of these have different dates for a few of them. And then, yeah, you could read these if you really wanted to, but I'm not going to sit here and read it because I wrote these, and I'm just <laughs> not going to do that. So you can pause it if you want, you know, and skip ahead if this is, like, you know, annoying. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, this game is going to be like in VR, maybe even mobile. Yeah, these are inked out. And like if you try to read this, it doesn't make any sense. I literally took a random paragraph generator. <laughs> and yeah, this one's inked out too. All right. And then uh, once you do that, you... Yeah, I got to fix this. Why can I see my mouse issue? I forgot to hide the mouse. Like I locked the mouse, but I didn't hide it. <laughs> I didn't realize I had to do that. So yeah, the reason I locked that door is because these vents go into that room. And I didn't want to, like, remake this whole thing, you know. So, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. You know, you can unlock this vent now with that vent key. But this one is still locked. And that leads to nowhere right now. But, you know, maybe in the future, once I actually get to this part in the game, I will, uh, you know, change that. Um, yeah. By the way, this is way too big. I'm getting... I, I'm very bad at proportions because I, yeah, this is also another, I fixed this, Oops, the lights clipping in, the walls, you know, that door's locked. I was going to put more doors here, but what would this be, like a janitor's closet, or what is this room? I really don't know at all, but yeah, and then in this room, you can't jump or run, which is really stupid, and I left this door open, <laughs> but yeah, so basically in this room, I want to make it sort of the other way event uh, leads to this and like um, you find that other vent uh, the vent key in here and then that vent will lead in here but this door is locked and basically in this one you find a ghost and her name's Jaime and he's she's Ste Steven's daughter oh yeah and then this is the end of the demo I'm, just, I'm gonna add more obviously and uh, yeah so I think yeah there's two notes in here they're not important they're not spoilers it just says I'm not crazy and and there's this one over here. The leather jacket. The leather jacket showed the scars of being. Yeah, it makes no sense. It's a random paragraph generator. It's actually really useful. Yeah, and then this room, I was gonna put like a recording right. Well, actually, I might still do that. Of like food fight, and then you just hear food going everywhere, and then like a jan or, or a, a security guard comes up and is like, "We've got a." We've got a 1084, we, we, we need backup or something like that, you know. You can go to credits, you know, and I, I credited, uh, these are really slow, but they go faster later. Fernando Hernandez, voice Steven. I didn't need to come here to tell you that, I already knew his name, but still. I'll see you in the next devlog, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, I'll see you later, and...